in prehistoric times, humans got everything from nature. They didn't have anything to buy or sell. After a few thousand years, they started growing crops, making pots, and stitching clothes. Some creative humans manufactured toys and luxury goods like jewelry. Now humans had things to exchange with each other. But there was a problem. How can a guy who has pots to sell find another guy who wants to buy pots? I mean, he can't search the entire village to find the pot buyer, can he? So humans needed a place where all buyers and sellers could meet up and do business. If anybody had anything to buy or sell, now they could go to a place to look for them. And so they invented markets. What is a market? Well, a market is a regular gathering of people for the purchase and sale of goods or services. Okay, great. But what does a regular gathering mean? How often does this gathering of buyers and sellers happen? Well, that depends on the market. It can function every day or once a week or once a month. There are even annual markets that assemble once a year. You might find various things like vegetables, books, paintings, cars, bikes or bricks in the market. These are all called goods, meaning that these are items that you can touch and see. Now, there is another category of things that are sold in markets. Services. So, unlike goods, these services are something that you can't touch. You can't put them in a box and carry them home. So the action of doing work in exchange for money, like plumbing, any kind of repair work, teaching, providing internet, all these come under the category of services. But what is the use of having a market? How does it help us? Markets have two useful features. It ensures that sellers and buyers can find each other without spending too much time and effort. The sellers need not visit every house in a city or a village to find a buyer. Whoever needs a product or a service will come directly to a nearby market and purchase what they want. The customers also find this convenient since they know where they need to go to buy any given item. In addition, the customers get many choices to buy from. If they don't like the product they bought from one seller, they can always go to a second or a third seller nearby. When multiple sellers are set up in the same marketplace, each seller will have to sell better than the other so that he can make more money either by selling at a cheaper price or selling higher quality items. This is called a competition. A competition of this nature can ensure buyers get better products at a lower price because the sellers keep trying to outsmart each other as they compete with each other for customers. A win-win scenario for sellers and buyers, isn't it? If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, 
like and subscribe to our channel now.